so now uh, we're going to get into a little bit of the uh, basics of uh, the course and the uh, theory. Uh, what I am expecting for each student is to have some basic, very basic knowledge of uh, uh, cost estimating. We, we just went over that, right? We need material, we need labor, we need equipment, we need uh, some indirect cost for them together. That, that's uh, kind of the, the concept of what we need to do. Then uh, you should know a little bit of math, algebra, trigonometry to do you know, some basic calculations. You know, what is the area? of this rectangle, you know, what will be the volume of a certain room, what will be, you know, the length of a certain section, that those things we, we, we need to know. And uh, the good thing is that we're using a software that allows us to do um, measurements right on the screen, so we don't really need to uh, do the, the math of uh, changing scales on the paper, we just have to make sure that the scale of the drawing is the same scale that the software is using, and that way we'll get the the correct result. All right. So we we normally start the, the course project in the second lecture, so that will be today. <laughs> we have a full set of drawing and specifications. We use on-screen takeoff. Um, so you, you don't need to print the drawings, you know, uh, people a lot of time, uh, well not too long ago and I think still in some places they print out all the drawings and they do the take off manually, we don't need to do that anymore, we can do that right on the screen, so you don't have to spend any additional money printing out the, uh, the drawings. Now uh, the issue comes now into, okay, how do I save my work? Right? The software that we have is a specialized software. It works with a license. So you don't want to pay the license. You don't have to. As long as you're a student uh, taking this course, you will have access to this software. Now, the software is in the engineering center down in Miami in one of their servers. So we need to access that software somehow. In the classroom, we have a, a software, it's called Citrix, that will allow us to log into that um, engineering center uh, server and use the software. I'm going to teach you how to do it from your own home, from your own computer, so you can access that software uh, at any time. So that's how to use the software. Then the software generates a file that is the work that you're doing, and you need to save that file. Every student uh, in, 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 in this program uh, will have a uh, space on the engineering center servers. Okay, so that they, they give you what's called an H drive. This H drive is basically a portion of, the, of a, a hard drive in the server at the engineering center that is for your own use. So and this, is, this is going to be valid as long as you're a student in this program. So you will have, you can use it for this course, you can use it for, and for any other course that you're taking in this university. You will have a hard drive, if you will, where you can put information for your different courses. Now I always recommend that you back up your data, right? Every now and then you copy that into a CD or you copy that into your computer so you have a copy of your material. After you graduate, you may not have access to that any longer. So if you want to keep that for your future ref reference, you may want to save that. So all students will have uh, this H drive and uh, you have ways to connect to that H drive remotely. I'm going to teach you how to do that. But uh, it's important to understand the concept because you will be working with this computer, you will open your software, and you will be working, and somehow you think that the information is saved here. It's not. The information will be saved remotely into this H drive, okay? So it doesn't matter what com which computer you're using, you will always have access to the same information because it's, this is something 
only for you, okay? And I cannot access that. So what happened is that when you're done with your work, you have to take the file that you have created and submit it through Blackboard so I can review your work, okay? Great. So <clears throat> you're going to have access to this H drive and to the remote uh, software uh, through several connections. We're, we're going to explain how that works. So uh, in order to get you guys familiar in the process and, and make sure that at the end of the semester you submit your files properly, at the end of each one of these lectures, we do the lab work. Well, sometimes we, we, we do two lab works or three lab works in, a course, in, in the course of the session. So you will submit your Excel file, you're going to submit uh, an Excel file which has your cost estimate. You're going to submit a Word document with the progress that you've been doing. And you're going to submit what's called the on-screen takeoff database. This on-screen takeoff database is the result of the work that you have taken with the drawing using on-screen takeoff. Okay? It, it, uh, it sounds a little complicated, but it's not really too complicated. What happened is that, let's say, that we're using the software to estimate how many tables we have in this classroom, right? So we will open a drawing that looks like this classroom, and then we will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay. So it will tell you you have 17 of these tables in this drawing. That information is saved on your H drive as a database, okay? Now, maybe she counted 15, you counted 17, he counted 18, so you have different numbers. That's uh, when you submit those files, I will open them and then I will see, okay, well, they missed this one, they counted that twice or whatever. I will be able to see what did you do to get to that number, okay? And uh, that's how I will grade your work. 